I know you must be eager to start building your dashboard right away. However, in order for time intelligence functions to work properly, it is important that we first have a separate calendar table, which we will then reference in our calculations. Lucky for us, this is really easy to do, as we can simply copy and paste the DAX formula necessary to create such a table. I have copied it in advance, but you can find the formula in the description of this video. Now, to create the calendar table, we simply can go to the Modeling tab and click on New Table. Now just paste the formula in and click OK or Enter. It is as simple as this. We now have a calendar table with the most commonly used timeframes. However, we still need to clean it up a little bit for it to work properly. First, let's mark it as a date table. We do this by right-clicking on the table name and going to the Mark as Date table. Now we select the primary date column and click OK. Once this is done, let's prevent the summarization of the numeric columns. These are the year, weekday number and month number. We do this by clicking on the column and under the summarization, we select Don't Summarize. Let's do this for the rest of them. There. Moving on. If you click on the month or weekday number, uh, I mean weekday here, columns, you will see, you will see that they are sorted alphabetically. This is, of course, not how we want it to be. So what we need to do is now sort the month and the weekday by month number and weekday number correspondingly. We do this by going to the sort by column section. So while having the month selected, we go to the sort by column and select month number. You will see that now they are arranged in the correct order. And the same needs to be done for the weekday. So just simply select sort by weekday number. Okay, our calendar table is correctly marked and sorted. But if we add our sales values now, for example, revenue, you will see that the total values are just repeated on each row. This is a clear indicator that the sales fact table is not connected to the calendar. So what we need to do is go to the model view and select our primary key, in this case the date, and just simply drag and drop it into the date field on the fact table. As you can see now, this creates a one-to-many relationship which uh, essentially means that multiple rows from the fact table uh, that happen on the same date will now be attributed to the single date value in the calendar. If we switch back to the report view now, we see that the values are displayed correctly. Voila! We have our calendar table and it is connected to the model. There are of course other ways of getting the same result, such as using Power Query, but that is a topic for another day. With that, I invite you to join us in the next video where we will take a look at how to prepare the basic measures that really show the power of Zebra BI.